So Neil Seal just held a one-hour-long speech at a university here in China. He talked about a lot of things. He talked about the stock price. He talked about AI. He talked about a lot of things. The future of the company, what the future of the company will look like, and of course, it's a very long video. One hour long, but of course you guys wouldn't want to watch a one hour long AI translated video. So I watched the whole thing and summarized it down to about a couple minutes. So first of all, he started off with a joke. Said, "Although we are still losing money, everything we're doing has a meaning, has a more ethical goal, and what we are witnessing right now is a change of a new era, a shift from gasoline cars all the way to electric vehicles." He talked about AI, and he talked about how everyone has to accept that AI is coming. Also, as a car company, a great car company must also be a very successful AI company, and AI should be fully implemented in cars and be successful in cars. And he started off with reflecting on the past ten years, and he talked about back even in 2019 when it was the toughest. They were in a cash crunch situation. They still kept their R and D headquarters open. They didn't fire staff, and they didn't close the doors because, well, things were tough. But they still had that、uh, mentality where it was very different from U S companies. U S companies, when things get tough, you close down shop, you cut the losses, you fire people, you get rid of jobs, and try to survive. But He was clearly very confident that there was going to be very, very good support for Neil when it comes to government funding, etc. So then he half talked about stock price, half jokingly talked about stock stock price. Said how the stock prices has had its highs, had its lows. It was at its sixties, near seventies, but you know right now it's kind of low. But it wasn't even you know the lowest point, which was back when it was at one dollar per share. And he said, you know, in the future, it's gonna go up even, even higher. So he himself is very confident about the stock price, and he talked about why this is the case because he talked about the growth of new energy vehicle penetration. Before it was at zero percent, now it has reached fifty nine, fifty three point nine percent, and within three years, it's going to reach eighty percent penetration, and by twenty thirty, it will reach ninety percent. Penetration. That means ninety percent of the cars on the roads will be new energy vehicles, and of course, reflecting back on the origins of Neo, back in twenty twelve, before Neo was even created, he realized that there was a huge smog problem in Beijing, in China in general, huge pollution problem, and he really wanted blue skies to come back, and that's why he created the name. Blue sky coming, which directly translates to Wei Lai, which is Neo. All right, and he had he saw that there was an opportunity to revolutionize what it means to own a car, and、uh, from that end, right, he created Neo. And then、uh, he talked about how two years ago he made a very stupid comment about why would someone buy a gasoline car, and、uh, that was of course in a sort of like closed area amongst. New owners and some media personnel. So he made that comment. You know, nowadays people don't shouldn't really buy a gasoline car, right? And it is absolutely the case. But then it went viral, and he got a whole lot of hate because of that statement. But then reflecting on it now, he said, obviously, right now about ninety six percent of customers who drive electric vehicles will not go back to gasoline cars. And then、uh, he talked about some of the achievements of the company. As at the end of September, Neil has delivered six hundred thousand cars, which is a huge milestone for the company, and、uh, for performance in general. At a price point above three hundred thousand RMB, the high-end luxury market, even Porsche, BMW, Teslas, EVs, cannot outsell. Neo, meaning Neo sells more cars in the luxury high-end market than all of these other brands. So when when it comes to a new energy vehicle company and how he could revolutionize this, he thought about several things that could really be implemented. So first thing was voice-centric.
And he, he thought about, you know, giving commands to a car, using your voice, but not just talking to nothing. Uh, not, talking to nothing is kind of empty, but talking to a robotic head, Nomi, gives it life, gives it warmth, and gives it something that you're interacting with, sort of like your pet. And then he talked about how electric vehicle innovation isn't just about acceleration. We're always looking at performance metrics with like Tesla and those other brands. But a car-centered tech is what you should be looking at. And a classic example is right now everything is smartphone-centered. Everything you use around your life is pretty much centered around your smartphone. But with a car-centered thinking, you know, you can do live streams directly using the car. You can do a conference directly on your car. And this is just a, a few applications out of many for uh, your life. And have the car be the center of everything when it comes to uh, transportation, it comes to living, comfort, entertainment. And, and also, for example, if you're doing research, you can act, uh, activate Nomi G GBT and talk to Nomi GBT, ask her questions, etc. And then it came down to the topic of robo taxis and smart driving. So Neo Seal has a very controversial opinion about this, right? He thinks that smart driving, the purpose is to free up energy and to avoid accidents, free up time, energy, and avoid accidents. And he talked about how the business aspect of robo taxis for autonomous driving will be taking jobs from millions of workers. And he thought that this wouldn't really be the best way to implement autonomous driving. And he shared an interesting statistic. Each person spends about 1,300 minutes per year on driving on average. And then, uh, you know, think about that's how much time you're wasted driving the car. But in the future, you know, with autonomous driving, it will be like your own personal driver with just a few bucks US dollars per month. You have a driver that never gets tired or asks you for a raise or never bothers you. And uh, that will be the future of autonomous driving. And you can do other stuff. You have your time freed up. You can sleep in the car. You can watch a movie in the car and not even have to be focused on the road. And that's what autonomous driving should be about, to free up time and also to reduce accidents. He talked about how 1.25 million people die from auto accidents per year. And that's something that he feels deeply terrible about. You know, these are all very unfortunate. Nobody wants a family member or somebody close to them to perish from a traffic accident, which is just uh, super, super bad. And this can all be avoided if you have a smart vehicle like a neo in the future where they can do fully autonomous driving so it's not just about selling cars uh and it's more about creating a whole entire lifestyle and then when it comes to r d and expansion which is very interesting he talked about how you know with neo expanding to a certain place it's not just about meeting the regulations there for example if neo wants to sell in singapore he sp specifically said it's not just about meeting the the requirements you also have to build infrastructure the cloud network support staff you have to build stuff like neo houses everything you have to bring the whole entire lifestyle over there and that's something that's very important and that's why neo is very cautious about expansion and then they're working gradually to expand and then he talked about Neo's unwavering investment into R&D, which is about $3 billion R&D per quarter. They spend a whole lot of money on R&D to pioneer the future. All right. And they're spending a lot of money and it's all worth it because it's all going to pay out with stuff like their own self-developed chips, their own self-developed operating system. Uh, all these in the future could be licensed out to make them a lot of money. And, of course, with NEO's vehicles, they're actually the first car to achieve self-driving functionality on all roads here in China with NOP+, whereas Tesla's FSD is still not available here in China. And lastly, he talked about how NEO's community 
has really transformed what it means to be a customer, all right, for what it means to be an owner. So people go from an onlooker observing the company from the outside to becoming a customer, buying the car, and then to becoming a participant like a new user volunteer, actively helping promote the brand, actively helping sell the cars in stores, and also during auto shows and help boost a lot of sales and this is very something that he's very proud of the fact that a lot of new owners will go out of their own way to help sell the cars at showrooms explain what neil is all about and that's something that he's very very proud of as always stay safe stay healthy peace out